All right. Shalom, call Halal, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakaha Kodash, which is the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. And peace and salutation as always to the elect. Just an exhortation for brothers. All right. Uh, to do nothing without counsel and advice from the holy men that are around you. All right. Because remember, the Lord gave us this brotherhood as a consolation. All right. On this side. All right. And you have to use these brothers all right to help you to make decisions that lead unto life because a lot of things are going to come our way that we're going to try to justify all right because of our flesh our fleshly desires and how these things fulfill the desires of the flesh okay and that's very very dangerous and can lead to our death and lead to the lord cutting the spirit off and taking his holy spirit away from us we have to be very careful you cannot waste steps on the tightrope Remember, we're on a tightrope with fire on one side, all right, and, and water on the other side. You can be drowned or you can be burned and potentially fall out of the race, okay, through particular situations that are going to present themselves to you in these latter days, all right? This is Sirach 32 and 17. A sinful man will not be reproved but findeth an excuse according to his will. And this happens in the mind. This happens in the spirit, okay, where you will justify something. You won't get counsel on something that you know damn well you, you're debating about. You have, uh, you know, you, you have these holdups and doubts and your conscience is, is, is sort of defiled towards something and you're like, damn, should I do it? Shouldn't I do it? What should I? And, and, and the flesh calls out to these type of things, man. So what you'll do is you'll make an excuse in your mind, all right? You won't seek counsel because you know a brother will give you the counsel of Yahweh about Shem Yahweh that leads to life, all right? The, the decisions that lead to life, all right, cause you to be dead in this flesh. And we cannot run from being dead. Being dead, all right, sometimes seems boring. Sometimes it's hard because you're fighting against the flesh with the decision you're making, man. In the flesh, all right, and things are going to call out more and more to your flesh day in and day out, brothers, all right? This is why we need to take wise counsel from the men around us. Don't just be doing things, all right? Use, all right, and utilize the tools that the Lord gave you in the form of the brotherhood, the holy men, all right, around you, because the Lord will speak to you through one of the brothers. But you'll make an excuse in your mind not to even take counsel because you know you don't want to hear the right thing. And that could lead to your death, man, or you uh, having the Holy Spirit snatched away from you. So a sinful man will not be reproved. Therefore, he won't take counsel, but find it an excuse according to his will. It says a man of counsel, excuse me, a man of counsel will be considerate. Okay, you'll be consider, considerate in your actions and what you do and what you allow and how you react and and. and when particular situations present themselves, you don't just react based on impulse in the flesh. A man of counsel will be considerate. He will consider how this will ruin his life, how this can uh, uh, potentially affect the brotherhood. Because your actions as a member of the body affect the brotherhood, man, more than you think. So a man of counsel will be considerate. But a strange and proud man is not daunted with fear, even when of he himself have done without counsel. So you... you you went and did this without counsel, and it's a causing your life destruction. Now the brotherhood has to come to your aid, either financially, spiritually, or whatever, when it could have been avoided with you just taking counsel in the first place, man. Okay? And this is a culture that our people have, have, have attained to, being impulsive, living as Esau lives, living as the heathen, doing as they will, okay? Without taking counsel, without without adhering to the law, statutes, and commandments in the in the uh, uh, the protocols that we were given, you know, because in this world they seem boring. In this world, it leads to you not gaining W's, you know. And our people have lost every time they went this way. And look at them to to this day. I was looking at Jay Z. I saw a picture of him pop up. And I was like, this dude looks horrible, man. Our people who have uh, went off into this world and tried to win, you know, they will, you know, they, they got the monetary game. But look, look at them man. their spirits are gone. They look dull. They, they look stank. They're all freaked out. They have no no limitations on what they'll do. And look at them as a result. 
All right. So a man of counsel will be considerate, man. We can't be like our forefathers. We have to look at the, the particular things that our forefathers did that led to death and make sure that we don't follow in those same paths, man. You don't want to be a sickness to the body. Each cell, each organ, each limb in its proper order doing what it's supposed to do because cells communicate, man. Believe it or not, when you uh, do a research on it, cells communicate. They're not on their own agenda. They're working for the benefit of the body. Now, a cancer cell tries to work outside of that order and form its own thing. Therefore, it has to be removed. Okay? So, you did it without counsel, all right? And you're not daunted with fear when you move like that. It says, do nothing without advice. And when thou has done once, repent not. So, do nothing without advice. Okay? So, when you have a situation approach you get advice man get advice talk to the brothers man get 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 get, get opinions and they're going to tell you through the spirit and power of your high about i was shy all right utilize the brothers man they're going to tell you what you need to hear man they're going to tell you the the thing that leads to life okay and sometimes we don't want to hear that because of the flesh that's the battle the flesh that's what we're overcoming a uh, death so it can no longer have a sting, man. Okay? Do nothing without advice. When you have a situation come, don't don't use the flesh as an excuse not to get counsel on how to handle these things, man. All right? What I what I do now is when a particular situation approaches me, I talk to a few brothers about it so that way I can help be held accountable. I got the advice and you went and did it anyway, so you can't really blame or oh, Satan you know, when these things uh, 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 ruin your life or, or, or ruin uh, your situation because you didn't take counsel. So if you take the counsel there, you're held accountable. All right. And, and, and now, you know, through the spirit, what you need to do, even though it's the hard thing to do. But that's the fight. This is the condition of the battle. OK, we can't run from it. It says do nothing without advice. And when thou has done once, repent not. So don't do it with advice you you you, uh, uh, you did something without advice and then it destroys you now and you're repenting when you never took counsel we're in the time where we need to consider our ways man consider our actions because everything matters at this point man satan is playing for keep satan is out here trying to destroy things man okay so you have to be very 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 considerate in what you do and how you act and what you uh, uh, allow into your life man and, and the things that you're doing out here in these streets man Okay. Go not in a way wherein thou mayest st fall and stumble not among the stones. So go not in a way where you know you're going to be destroyed, man, and fall. Okay. And this can be presented in the form of women. This can be presented in the form of uh, uh, monetary situations that pop up in your life. This can, this can be family. Remember, it's fire on one side and it's water on the other. And these things present themselves as things that are going to be beneficial to your flesh. But the nation of Israel, when they did that, eventually they were burned or drowned. The remnants uh, 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 are going to have the mind frame not to burn or drown. OK. Be not confident in a plain way. You cannot be confident in a plain way, in a base way. Our people out in this world. All right. Two thirds of you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans are confident in a plain way. And look at you. You vote. OK, you you boast in sleeping with other men's women All right, you boast in how many women you got. And you think that that's manhood. The women boast in, in, in how much freedom they have to be a complete loser, a slut. OK, you got uh, people boasting in, in transgender as you got our people boasting in everything. But the righteousness of the law, statutes and commandments of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai and faith, man. Faith is at an all time low amongst our nation, but it should be at an all time high amongst the elect, the remnant. OK, and that's going to take counsel sometimes, man, for you to, to ward off those demons. OK, that's a part of your your uh, uh, your your defense as well. Your armor is counsel. OK, counsel with brothers, man. Be not confident in a plain way, man. Verse 23 says in verse 22, and beware of thy own children and in every good work. All right. Trust thine, thine own soul. All right. For this is the keeping of the commandments. All right. He that believeth in the Lord, take it heed to the commandment and he that trusted in him shall fare never the worse. So you have to trust in your how about Shem Yahweh Shai and keep the commandments at the forefront 
of how you uh, uh, roll in which the, the commandment should be in us. It's in our spirit. It should be your intent to do well. OK. And if you if it's not your intent, you have to pray to you. How about show me I was shy. All right. To, to, to take these demons and these spirits off of you. But at the end of the day. Take counsel, man. Use the, the brotherhood, man. All right. Don't just do shit, man. All right. Uh, uh, if you do something, man, you know, hey, talk to brothers about it. Was this wrong? You know, and repent, man. Repent to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai every day, man. Because you got sins you don't even know about. You got demons coming at you that you don't even know about. You got an agenda being, being uh, a case being built on you that you don't even know about. All right. So for us to overcome what's to come. We have to have the, the, the shield of faith, man. Okay? The shield of faith, man. All right? Let me get this real quick. Um, Proverbs 1 and 5, it says, A wise man will hear and will increase learning, and a man of understanding shall, uh, shall attain unto wise counsels. Okay? This is Proverbs 11 and 14, where no counsel is, the people fall. But in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. So where, where, where there is no counsel, you're going to fall, man, because you're, 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 you're acting and leaning on your own understanding according to your own flesh, which has been the problem and is the problem with the chosen line, man. All right. So let's get one more real quick. Ephesians, the sixth chapter. Okay, because we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but principality and rulers, man. This is a spiritual war, and we are at war. All right, so you need counsel before every move you make. We're in a spiritual war. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Ephesians 6 and 12, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, and against rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So these situations that come your way, man, these are spiritual moves being made against you, all right, to try to trip you up. So you have to take counsel, man. It said, wherefore, take unto you the armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, all right, having done all to stand. So the armor of God, a part of that is counsel, man faith stand therefore having your loins girded, girded about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shot with the preparation of the gospel of peace above all taking the shield of faith wherein you shall be shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked and if you have faith that the kingdom is coming your decision making will will, will dictate that your, your decision making will your decision making will be dictated by your faith man in the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. So that it's, it's as a helmet to when, when the fiery darts come, they're blocked off. All right. Either you're taking counsel or you're meditating on the kingdom of heaven. You're meditating on what's to come. You're not ruled by flesh. You're not ruled by the flesh and what comes with pleasing the flesh. You're ruled by the promise that's coming and putting off the flesh, man. Okay. So, so praying always with prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching there unto with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints, which is the elect, man. All right? So, call halal, Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'asham, Rakah, and double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Peace and salutation to the elect. Shalom.